Coming off a, a resounding win um, at Northern Colorado against a team who went into the game with a uh, pretty steep reputation for uh, solid defense, I thought our offense played uh, exemplary through the early part of the ball game, especially uh, when it was really tight nip and tuck there. We got going in the second quarter and, and lightning started to strike for us. Uh, an excellent job by our, our offensive depth as we saw. C.J. Hatchett come deep off the bench to score a touchdown late in the ball game, but uh, just another example of, of again player development, of running our offense. Uh, but again, uh, one of the great performances again by Justin Harris, playing quarterback. He doesn't necessarily have to be a thrower. He can win games by handing the ball off. And literally, when Northern Colorado opted to try and play pass defense on every down, the running game was going to be there. And whereas two years ago we didn't have a running game to turn to, now with a great offensive line and a very, very talented tailback, we've got an answer to your defensive strategy. And overall, uh, it's our best game defensively scoring in quite a while. In fact, Steve told me since 2002 that we've held an opponent to 12 points. So uh, a, a very good job by us uh, throughout the whole day. I'm a little concerned about the way things started there in the third quarter but uh, offense responded and we got a measure of distance and defense settled back down and made some plays. So uh, overall, we're in the ninth game. So we're a little bruised and battered in certain spots. And we'll have a number of guys available that haven't been available and we'll have a number of guys unavailable that have been available. Uh, the mystery will be, who are they and when will I let you know? And that'll be about uh, 4.35 Pacific day daylight time on Saturday down in Portland. Questions? I'm more interested. Portland State, tell us about what. what Portland State, uh, a football team that has gashed us with the run uh, for year, three years in a row. And they've gotten over 400 yards, well, I had 390 some yards last year running the ball. And we've got to find an answer to their running game. We have got to know that we're not going to be able to stop it, but we've got to be able to contain it and not allow them to develop long plays or long drives. Northern Arizona did a wonderful job of running down their breakouts and making them try to score from inside the 10 yard line. They held them to a field goal and then got a goal line stand that was a catalyst for a win. And I think after last weekend's win, Northern Arizona's win at Portland State is going to stand up for a long time in this conference. Because as we saw last week, winning at home is a requisite for being in the upper tier of the Big Sky Conference. And winning on the road is going to be a requisite part of being able to hang a banner at the end of the season. So for us, it's another challenge to go on the road at a place uh, at a place where we haven't had recent success, but overall, ISU is nine and nine throughout the ages. Uh, we haven't won there since '98. Uh, we're aware of, of of some other things going on with Portland State, but they're a very good running team, very multiple uh, on offense. The quarterbacks had a struggle throwing the ball at times, uh, but defensively, statistically, and I know you don't win games just on numbers. They're one of the the better defenses in the conference, a lot like Northern. Colorado was last week coming into the game. We'll just see how that stands up for the rest of the for the whole day on Saturday. Like you said, Northern Colorado basically was defending against the pass. What do you see from Portland State defensively? What are they trying to take away from it? They don't play a sub-package mark. They play a, a pretty base defense, and Don will be able to kind of go a little bit more in length than that when he plays when he when he gets a chance to talk to you guys here in a second. Portland State are they one-dimensional? In my opinion, or you want to ask Coop that question? To me, they're to me they struggle throwing the ball. And they try to, and last week they they hit a couple of big passes. They they would like to be balanced, but they're they're not able to get there. Quarterback is not as accurate as they, as I I think they wish they'd be. He's a good runner, but he's not as accurate throwing the ball as he as he can be. 